Even so, there's still plenty for me to learn, but to the extent that I consider myself to be a good player at this game, that's that's a lot of what I attribute it to, just being able to do the to run the numbers really quickly. And yeah. even if you don't, like sometimes it'll be too complicated for an actual definite number, at least for me, but if you can get it in the ballpark, that helps. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to know the exact odds of getting this four of in your deck in the next two draws with this many cards, but if you can ballpark it well, yeah. um, that helps an awful lot. That's another reason why I like playing elves and I want to learn ant. Yeah, I, I admit, playing a deck like in Legacy, it, it's burn, it's your merfolk, it's elves, those are very consistent decks. Yeah. And part of that is a lot of your cards do, if not the same thing, similar enough things that you can, you know, that redundancy, ooh, six, six. that redundancy Just will get you there. <laughs> I appreciate that. At the same time, I like playing decks with a lot of singletons and a lot of card draw to help you filter through them, because yeah. I like looking for answers. I like having the answer. Yeah, okay, you. ten. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Da da. I would like to be on the. I'm on Delver. Yeah, I'll be on the draw. Yeah, we're draw. I'm not gonna keep this hand. Ooh. Okay. Well, my only land was draw. Over. <laughs> this is a, a, a slightly tricky hand. It shouldn't be, but it is. So let me flip this around real quick. Uh, it's a keep, but not as much as I would like. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So this is fun. And. That's really not the turn. There, there's that. That's that's obvious. That's gonna come first. You're pretty good too. Uh, the only exception is I could try this. Knowing my opponent, maybe that's right. But that is real greedy. Uh, I can get punished hard for that if I'm not careful. And while you're while you're setting up, I'm going to go and get the cord to charge this bad boy because it's. It's getting close enough, I'd rather not die in the middle of our game. So, you can shuffle for a moment, my friend. I... Let me pile real quick after all our games. Yeah, go for it. We <laughs> had we had a game or two or ten. I'm pretty sure. Alright, where are you? So many... It's off camera, behind the scenes with T1... Ah, here we are, with T1 Listener Elf. Um, there are a lot of chords back here. It's the recording setup and the console, which actually helps with the recording setup. Uh, while you're pile shuffling, I'll make a quick little channel announcement. Uh, as my voice cracks. Oh, my voice. It's been, it's been great these past couple weeks. Um, so, uh, I don't get to play... I'm not at Tapstart often. Uh, uh, Area 52. I'm not in Athens often for Dragonstar or Card Advantage. I'm not coming often for Kapow. And those are all great stores, but or Delonica for Vendetta. But because I don't get, and this is a, partially due to work, um, I don't get to go to card shops too much these days. Now that being the case, uh, one thing I'm thinking of doing of, to supplement the content. Obviously, you are being Matt. You are being a boss and not only giving me some extra gameplay, but just helping me out with having something on the channel. So that's awesome. But I'm I may do... <laughs> <laughs> you are... We're learning. We're learning off each other. We're growing as players at the same time. Um, I might throw in a little bit of gaming. I'm not going to turn into a Let's Play channel, but it may help to hold me over on, on days or weekends or whatnot when I don't have... When, when I can't record or can't record enough content. Um, so that may be something that happens, as, you know, here and there. Um, yuki dooky. So, I can keep this. Okay. Um, should I... Oh yeah, you're on the... You yeah, the um, I don't... This is this is almost almost an ethical question the way that I see it. Should I play this as if I know the matchup, or as if I don't know the matchup? Uh, I I honestly don't know the answer because I think that changes my play. No, no, it probably doesn't actually, because and, and I'll show you in just a moment. Um, if I don't know what I'm up against, I don't know what I'm looking for, 
And so I might play that, but I don't know what I'm looking for yet. So I think I'm just going to play this as if I know, because it might end up the same way as if I didn't know, regardless. Uh, it's, it's impossible to separate myself from that, so I'll go with what I think is more likely for me to do. Okay, cool. Ready? Go. So you're on the draw. No, oh. I'm on the play. I won the die okay. roll. I got it. I know, but I thought you took the draw. Oh well. No, sorry. Uh, fetch. If I said draw, I feel like an idiot. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! We're stifling the fetch. Okay. Okay. So this is what I meant. I didn't know if I was gonna play something at sorcery speed or hold up stifle. Yeah. If I know the match, I know there are enough fetch lands you might want to stifle yeah. that. Uh, but I. Faster. I think I might have come to that conclusion anyway, partially because another card in my hand, partially because I didn't turn around. Um, I didn't know what I'd be looking for off the other card. So we're going to ponder real mm -hmm. quick. That that was the other card. I could have pondered instead. I didn't know if I don't know the match. I don't know what I'm trying to get. Uh, I like all of these. Which is a good problem to have, I suppose. Okay. I'm gonna get a Death Rite Shaman next. Do we just... Yeah, we just do this. So, those are my three. Draw. Play an Underground C. Ponder again. <laughs> oh. Extra card. Oh. 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 Let me see how high pitch I can get my voice here, real quick. All right. No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I. <laughs> we are going to pass the turn. Yeah. <laughs> Not today. Uh, we're gonna daze the death right shaman. Uh, tundra. Okay. All right. So that's turn, I presume. Yep. All right. Pass turn. Moink. And you're at uh, 18. Because the, the one life from fetching is a cost. It's not part of the resolution like Thought says. Oh, uh, so you, even if you get stifled, you? Yeah, okay. yeah, that's right. Sorry. Very fine, I just... You, now we know. Yeah, it's it's thought seize is weird. Oh, and we just got done casting thought seize about twenty times between the two of us. Bye. All right. Vision. Um, resolves. Go ahead. I'll swords it now. Now you gain a life. And then, yeah, we'll draw a card. I will fetch. Go to 19. All. As I get, let's say, an underground sea. I'm going to cast Lingering Souls, and then I'll pass the turn. Alright, 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 bro. 
Okay, cool. So, for the Lingering Souls tokens, um, I have... Oh, I, I misplaced them somewhere. Bravo. <laughs> That's not actually them, but we're gonna go with these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Someone in the comment section is triggered. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lenoir's good. Okay, okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, swing two in the air? Yep. Fatal Push... Lenormals. This is game one. I'm not sure that I should be worried about Crater Hoof. Crater Hoof. How many cards do you have in hand? Two? Three. Okay. So from here we could fetch and then either land off the top or use Korean Ranger's ability and make four mana and yeah uh, and, and natural order into crater hoof main board that should be the only I guess there could be a progenitus okay so uh, pass turn uh, oh okay. You're not a blue deck, so it doesn't really matter for you, but especially for blue decks, we try to do it on our upkeep so we have more mana to fight the counter war if there's a Beauty. cycle coming off. I see, I see. <laughs> so we have Dryad Arbor doing our thing. Fair enough. Okay, well, natural order, sack Dryad Arbor. Go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Foot, meat, mouth. We're so cute. Okay. Vision. Hi, visionary. Yay, fine. Warwood. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <gasps> well, that's fun. Resolve? Yes, resolves. Um, use? Mm-hmm. Oops. Untap. Um, never turn. Yes. Oh. All this without a glimpse. Yes, resolves. Uh, one heritage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Resolve. Resolves. Three. Mm-hmm. Um use. Yep. Four. Natural order sacrificing. Spell Pierce. Okay. Yeah, and that's why we did that. <laughs> that is why we did that. Uh, a silly question: Was Quirion Ranger there to start the turn? Yes, and it, it was. Yeah. Okay, but no attack. Right. Okay. Making sure. All right.
Umizawa's Jite. Okay. Pass turn. Uh, end of turn. Yep. Use. What would you like to bring back? Gee, I wonder. Untap. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> that's um, the one. Go to my turn. As Evangeline would say, this is one. Resolves. Do it! Just do it! Great. Okay. Yay. Four. Huh. All right. Yeah, I'll floating. ask you about the sequencing in a bit, because I think the sequencing was a bit off, but you I might think still so be too. You might still be fine. I think so too. I have three floating. Yes. Six, Six floating. We're going to work our way to the giant green sun, aren't we? Um, green sun X equals eight. Use. Yes. Bounce. Untap. Uh, don't we want to untap the... Because you can untap on your own, but this one can't untap on its own. Well, use. Well, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I see. Use, melts, ah, untap. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I was still at six, so now I'm at nine. That's right. Green um, sun, x equals eight. Two. Okay, never mind. Seven. Draw your card. Um, untap. Yes. Um, one. Alright, show me a one mana dork. Birch Lawyer. Okay, Birch Lawyer. Tap three, get back to nine, Green Sun. I'm trying to be right here. That's a four. Four. Go to. Uh, spell Pierce. Yes, uh, Birch Lawyer. Yeah. Spell Pierce. Is it? Pay two. Pay two. Well, lo and behold, you had two. Um, just a sec. Let's see. So, you can attack this turn. You cannot. You can. Okay, that's game. Yep. All right. Ta-da! Uh, I tried. Two, three, four, five, six. I tried. So, host 11. Ta-derp. Eight. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty nostalgic, <laughs> I'll admit. I need to go through and finish beating Omega Ruby. Having not played any of the games past Gen 1 and Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. That's a that's been my you know, the Magic Man Sam from YouTube, he actually runs. And I, I run, but I've been using Pokemon Go so that like as I'm running I'm doing something. Yeah. But unfortunately with Pokemon Go, the way that you typically play it you keep, like, you have to start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. When you, like, find a gym or want to catch a Pokemon, you can yeah. catch one on the run, but it's... <laughs> it's not easy. I know, I tried to find a Toted out at the square while driving around, but had someone get behind me so I had to speed up. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's not admit that on camera, my friend. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what I'm talking about. I do actually like set my phone in the passenger seat and just let it chill. And if I happen to be driving slowly enough that it builds up a little bit, I'm cool with that. <laughs> <coughs> I will. <coughs> I'll keep. No. No. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough, man. All right. Let's see what that six and a scribe brings you. In the meantime, I. Da 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 da. I'm gonna show off this hand. Okay, cool. So this is great. And this does everything up here except you. And this is, of course, the, the issue with decks with this many colors anyway. Sometimes you get hands like this. But I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to be all right. And also, you're pretty nice. You're pretty nice. So I hear. 
word on the street. Wow. Just go like that. <laughs> Your hand was actually on the bottom. That's how that worked. Oh man, that pizza has gotten to me. Pizza, pizza. Oh. It feels like I ate a brick. Mm. It's just so heavy. I think I can try and keep this. Alright. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go turn one tundra, pass turn. Are you? Yep. Not a word. Uh, we'll daze it. Float blue. Back to hand. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, pass turn. <gasps> oh, jet. It's probably fine, but. If there was ever a turn to play that card, that would have been the turn. I got so enraptured by this one. Oh, pfft. I got so enraptured by playing that card. Wow, Jay. Wow. Well, okay, we're going to get our chance anyway. We got our redemption. I'm going to wasteland your bayou. That's yeah. what I should have done last turn, even though it would have put me on no colored mana. But. I drew a card that made me want to try to play it, even though I realized afterwards, wait, this doesn't work. Um, and then we'll pass the turn. Good. Oh, man. Not like this. Um, well, this is odd. How about... We'll try this. Ponder? Yep. One, two, three. I like you. A bushel and a peck. A bushel and a peck. And a hug around the neck. Yeah, I, I don't... I want this one, though. I think we hold out for you. So, this is the card I'll draw. And then I'll pass turn. Now I have that stupid fidget spinner song stuck in my head. Yeah, whose one is that? Gunners. It's mine for today, Go. but Gunner is the one that <laughs> brought it to my attention originally. So, I blame him for my problems. I mean, uh, Fetch. Mm -hmm. We'll obviously get an Underground C. There's a Force of Will I, I shuffled away. I'm in the process of shuffling away. I'm going to cast a Gta and then pass the turn. Still have a creature to stick it on, but, you know... There's a G tang. Beware. Beware! Warwood. I am the box ghost! Warwood. Alright. Go ahead. Do you remember what that's from by chance? The box ghost? Nope. You remember Danny Phantom? Yeah. Yeah, that guy. That guy. Okay. Okay. Get our, our Ness impersonation on. Okay. Man, that's a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Alright, I'm going to make you have it real fast, man. I'm going to make you have to have it real fast because I'm dropping a Lingering Souls and getting my Souls tokens. Pass turn. Heritage. Pass. Alright. Equip the G-Tang. Mm -hmm. Swing. Yep. 
two counters, spin the counters, boom boom. We're gonna do Symbiote first. You're gonna bounce the yeah, Heritage Druid, yeah. 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 So, in that case, it would still have one counter, because if I'm doing the Symbiote first and you're bouncing the Druid, then there's no Druid for me to target. Whatever, it doesn't, whatever, <laughs> who cares. That was a really quick way to do it, but there's a counter on it. Tadurp, and then pass turn. It's funny to me that returning an elf is part of the cost, so I can't respond to it. It's better that way, probably, but mm. it is funny. We caught it. Get you one. We just want to see this game. Okay, game three. There's always game three. Yeah, that was a that was a rum start, man. Sorry about that. <gasps> All right, my friend. Let's try this one one more time. Boink, boink, boink. Here, boink, 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 boink. Wait, wait, wait. Luminati confirmed. <laughs> Luminardi confirmed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Do, 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 do. There's another tune stuck in my head, another jingle. Get the X Files thing. Alright, every time. There we go. Hmm. Me gusta. Yeah, I guess I'll keep this hand. Right. You good? Yes. Uh, fetch. Boop. <laughs> All right. Four's my ore. Sounds like a plan, man. And good. All right. Well, I. Wow. Oh my goodness, that note was terrible. Um. I am going to be a jerk and submerge your Llanowar Elves. Just stick it back on top of the deck. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Uh, and then... And then I'll pass. It sets you behind a turn. Go ahead. Uh, end of turn. Mm. Swords the Elf. Just keep you off that mana. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll start off with a Ponder. Mm -hmm. Um. No. <laughs> that was uh, interesting, I guess. I guess none of the cards were bad. One of the cards was bad. But we can do better. The so-called barbarians will not respect us for our military might. They will respect us for our honor. Wait a minute, isn't that the opposite of what barbarians are like? Because don't they res... Oh, uh, whatever. It's the opposite of what I, I think of when I think... Or oh my... You know that card I said was awful in my hand? You just drew it, I just drew it. <laughs> uh, in that case, we're going to waste your Dryad Arbor. Yeah. And then I'll pass the turn. Let's see how many copies of that I'm going to draw over the course of the game. All of them. That's actually my next few draws. Alright, Wirewood. Go ahead. Cool. Cool. I dig it. How about I play... Uh, we're going to fetch mm -hmm. into, of course, Underground Sea. I'm going to cast Demonic Tutor with legs. I'm going to cast Stone Forge Mystic. Um, actually, before I shuff finish shuffling, let me just... I'm assuming it resolves. Yeah. Let me just go get GTA. One less cut we have to do. 
So, Demonic Tutor. Yay! There's a reason it's banned in modern. Stoneforge Mystic would be way too good, dude. I... I, I can see a sliver of a case for it being in modern. And then I play Legacy. And no. No. And it also makes it really hard on R&D. They, they, in a similar way that Birthing Pod made it hard to design good creatures, because you always had to worry about breaking Birthing Pod, they'd have the same problem with equipments that have to worry about breaking Stoneforge Mystic. Um, so I, I would not be okay with that. Alright, so, pass turn. Incoming shenanigans. Bachelor's fun. Go ahead. Brainstorm. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh, this is this is dumb. Alright. Actually, so you and you, and that's easy. Make sure I put them back the right way. Okay, we're good. Actually, gonna do it now. We're going to fetch. Get a good old tundra into play. And then I will pass the turn. Which one do you want to save? Minus one, minus one, y'all, your elves. And I guess you don't have another one mana one because of Birch Slayer. Yeah. Alright, so the two for one. Alright, I will go to my turn. Uh, we're just gonna do it. We're going to. Cast Gta, equip Gta, swing, yep. put two counters on it, and pass turn. Yeah. Sideboard cards, man. I've seen two. Uh, you only have the one, but... Well, if you got it, go for it. I mean, I guess with one mana. Ooh. Where's Abrupt Decay when you need it? Uh, or by you, I mean. For Abrupt Decay. Ah, okay, that's where is the answer. <laughs> the counters are not on the Stone Forge, they're on the GTA.
Oh, okay. Not abrupt. Show me visionary to draw into it. Yeah, uh, I did see that. Sorry. <laughs> a little more shuffling. My bad. I didn't mean to. I just caught a glimpse of glimpse. Let's do this. There we go. Da 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 da. Hey. Vision. Resolves? Draw your card. What's the line from Yugi? Draw your last pathetic card, Yugi. Um, pass and turn to Yeah, door. that's it. You know the drill. Alright. Draw. Oh god. Um. Swing. Yep. I'll pump it once, put it to zero counters, and then bring it up to two. So you'll take three. Yep. And then pass the turn. Resolves. No. May I? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, nettle resolves. Draw a card. Draw a cat. Heritage. Heritage resolves. Uh, I did play the turn. Right? Yes, buy it. Yeah, alright. Um. Pass turn. End of turn, kill a druid. Yep. Well, better late than never, buddy, I guess. Uh, combat? Yep. Yeah. Swing? Mm. It's a 1 2 that becomes a 3 4 if I use the counter. No blocks. Alright, so I'll gain 2, use 2 to kill a Nettle Sentinel. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, Mr. Dalever. Mm -hmm. Because why not, I guess. And, uh, pass the turn. Mm -hmm. uh, fetch. That'll um, work. While fetching green sun for three. Um, we'll counter your green sign, force of will ponder. So I'll go down one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, just to see what would have happened, it wouldn't have flipped the Delver, but, you know, okay. So I had another stone forge. I could have gone for the Feast and Famine, but I was trying to be really conservative with my mana there. With double force, maybe I didn't have to, but I... I don't know. I was... I guess I was trying to threaten as much as I could, as far as counter magic and kill spells were concerned. And I didn't need the Feast and Famine, it was just a win more card at that point. But maybe I still should have gotten it for deck thinning and for extra power later on. Uh, no point in not speeding up the clock a little bit. And once the Feast and Famine resolves, you can hold up all the mana you want. That's how Feast and Famine does its thing. So obviously, Submerge and Zealous are a uh, sideboard card. And actually, it's, I think, double Submerge. And one Zealous and Thoughtseize. It's not in the main board, it's in the side. So, let's see. So five sideboard cards for the match. None of which is completely backbreaking, but added together, it's, it's a fourth with, force with which to be reckoned. And... There is another thought season here. Somewhere. Just passed over it, I guess. Alright. Well, somewhere in here. And then cards I cited out. Uh, Batter Skull is not good in this match, so that had to go. That was easy. Uh, aside from that, did I. Where did you go, bro? Where did Thought Seize run off to? Maybe I'm wrong. Surely I had another Thought Seize. Surely to goodness. What else looks like a sideboard card in here, my man? Ah, oh, This is embarrassing. Or the cards are sticky or something, I don't know. 
what have you been doing for the cards today? Oh my god. S something like that had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, no. Feast and Famine is a sideboard card. That's right. This, um, I, I think I confuzzled myself because in Death and Taxes, Fire and Ice is main board. And I think I just confuzzled myself a little bit. So, confuzzled. There's, there's your new word of the day. Uh, so there you go. These are the side ins. The side outs. Batter Skull, obviously. And then in game three, because I was on the draw, Days. Days is already kind of bad on the draw anyway, but against Elves, it's terror bad when you get all that mana so quickly. So I kept it on the play, though, because on, and only on, pretty much, turn one, it can actually be used to slow you down a, a decent bit, perhaps, as it did in game two. Uh, however, in game two, these were the Spell Pierce slots. I took out Spell Pierce. I wanted to keep Stifle for the Stone Rain on turn one, and I can actually counter a Crater Hoof uh, trigger. I can counter... Um, let me see, there's something else I was interested in countering. Uh, Rex Age. I can counter Rex Age to keep a GTA alive. So I, or keep it around. So I wanted to have Stifle still. Um, yeah, that's how that worked. Ta-da! Ay, ay. 